So we are going to do some printmaking using styrofoam plates and quick sticks. So what you're gonna need is some styrofoam and you can use like takeout containers or anything that's kind of this like thin sort of styrofoam. And then you'll need some scissors, a pencil or some, or anything that's kind of sharp that you can kind of carve into this styrofoam with, um, quick sticks or paint sticks and some paper. So the first thing that you wanna do is prepare your plate. And I know it's called a, like it's a styrofoam plate, but when you're printmaking, anything that you're using to like put your image on is called a plate. So even if it's uh, lin linoleum or stone, anything like that, it's your kind of your printing plate or your surface. You're gonna get fancy, it's your, paint, your uh, printing matrix. Anyway, what you're gonna do is take the plate and you wanna prepare it by cutting off this ridge. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And I guess at this point, I will note that you don't have to do a circle. So if you wanted to cut this into a different shape, like a triangle or a square or some other funky shape, you could totally do that and it will print. You'll see what will happen. It will print in that shape that you do. So the next thing that you wanna do is get an idea first so that you don't waste materials. Um, so maybe sketch out some ideas on some scrap paper. So I'll do that right now. So I sketched out my idea and what I did is I traced my plate first so that I had the right size. So I traced it out and then sketched it. And I think I'm gonna do this kind of person that's on, a, on the water and there's a kind of a wave coming up. So now I could just try to freehand redraw it onto my styrofoam or I could try to line up my drawing with my styrofoam. And what I can do is kind of trace it. As long as I don't move my plate around, it has to stay nice and still. I should be able to kind of press through, if you press hard enough and then lift up your paper, I don't know if you can see in the video, there's a little bit of an indentation there. See that? And I'm gonna go over that again because you wanted that indentation, indentation to be nice and deep. So I've got those indentations. I'm gonna go over them again because you really want that to be pressed down into the styrofoam. So I'm gonna go over those lines and really kind of try to carve down, press down into the styrofoam. So that it's really creating quite a valley. So if you run your finger along it, your fingernail will kind of get caught in that valley. Print, you're going to need a quick stick or a couple of colors, depends. And this process, the way that we're printing here is gonna be quick. You can't can't waste too much time. So you might need to, you may have to like limit your colors because if you spend a ton of time coloring, it might dry before you can print it. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna take my quick stick. I'm gonna color over it as fast as I can. And then I'm gonna lay the paper on top of it. So I'm going over it and I'm just doing blue right now. We'll see how, how it turns out. As fast as I can. I want it to stay wet. If it dries, it won't work. So I want it to stay wet going over it. And now I'm going to lay my paper on top and I'm going to use my hands to gently kind of rub on the paper all the way around, all the edges in the middle. And then this is my favorite part. It's where you're pulling the print. We pull the print off the paper. Voila! So there is my print. You might notice a few things. Whenever you print, you get a mirror image of what you did. So for this, it doesn't matter so much um, other than, I guess if I want it to be the other way, it's not the other way. But if you're using letters, so if I wrote something right here, it would have printed backwards. So this is something, if you're gonna be a printmaker, you have to learn that if you wanted to write lake, you're gonna have to write it mirrored as though it were in the mirror. You'd have to write it like that for it to print like that. It's, it can be a fun challenge, those of you that like to think backwards like that. Okay, so this is what we would call, if you're doing this uh, fine artist, you would sign it. So I'll sign my name right here, Mrs. Hall. And then on the side, I could title it or I could call this a, a printer's proof or an artist's proof. So I'll call it the artist's proof. And what proof means, it's like a practice. So artist proof means like I'm practicing to see what it looked like. All right, I'm gonna make some changes now. There's a lot of just blue and only a few lines. I wanna start adding some other 
designs in here. So I'm gonna take a moment and go through my water and add some like kind of some swirly lines and I might add some dots in the sky. Okay, I added some more lines and I poked some dots there. My pencil broke, but it doesn't matter. You can use the back side of the pencil, anything that you can carve in. Even you can even use scissors, your fingernail, anything that you can press into the styrofoam and make an indentation. I might try to see if I can do a couple of colors here. It's a bit challenging, but I'll try it. All right, let's do a red moon. I meant to grab orange, but it's okay. Gotta go quick. Super fast, super fast. I'm gonna go over my red again. Purple. And brown. And paper. Let's see how it worked. I go ahead and pull my print. Oh, it worked pretty nicely, actually. So we're just printing on regular printer paper that you'd run through like a copy machine. I see that this edge started to dry up a little bit. Um, but it, it turned out pretty nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and label that with my name, M. Hall, and then I'll do artist proof. And this one I'm going to write number two. Artist proof number two. So I've got my artist proof number one, artist proof number two. So it's kind of cool because it's almost like you're telling a story of how you're changing your work as you go. Something else you can play around with is maybe you want to just stick with one color on your quick stick, but that doesn't mean that you can't print on some like different colored paper. And that's what's so fun about printmaking is you can change so many variables, different things about the art piece. So let's say that I want to print on this piece of paper because I like the color and I'm curious about how it's going to look with that white line running through it. Okay. So I'm going to ink up my plate. I might just do black this time. By the way, if you're printing really fast and you're trying to switch colors, you may need to wait for the quick sticks that are on the plate already to dry, or you might want to even rinse off your plate. All right, inked up. I'm going to lay my paper down and print. And that's kind of fun. So I'll write artist proof number three and label it with my name. So that I'm starting to experiment now with like some different layers. It's sort of fun to play around with if you like collage first and then print on top of it. That can be a really fun way to experiment. So I'm pretty happy how this one turned out. Before this, I made this one and I was liking some aspects of it, like how I was reprinting the same thing and like changing it. I liked printing on top of other paper, but then when I was all done, I was like, ah, oh, it doesn't feel complete. Didn't feel like intentional. So this time I planned it out a little bit better. I made a new plate and I decided to do art. So I don't know if you noticed, but I had to write it backwards on this for it to print forward on this. So um, I put blue paper down and printed white on top of it. And this is where artists have to engage and persist. Persist means you keep trying. Because when I first printed it on that blue paper, I thought, oh, you can't really see it very well. I printed it again. I was like, no, this is, it's not going great. But then I was like, I'll switch it up and do red on white. And then it printed out great. And then um, I thought, well, now I kind of don't mind that these are faint. 
I still kind of like it. And then I decided I need to pop a yellow. So I put yellow in at the end. So as you experiment with this, you know, kind of a big part of it is always reflecting as you're working. So when you make something, think what went well, what didn't? And don't give up if something doesn't go well. Figure out what went wrong. Did the ink dry too fast? Um, did you move the paper too much? Did you not press hard enough and long enough? So try to think a little bit like a scientist and problem solve through it, figuring out which thing didn't work or which thing did work. All right, and have so much fun. Printmaking is one of my favorite things to do.